You made it then. I was just about to phone you. You're late for your shift. Yes, that is why I'm here. I can't actually work tonight, Diane. You're not a liar. It's not the sort of get-up I'd wear if I was feeling under the weather. I have to go to a party. I'm so sorry it's all a bit last minute. Well, what am I supposed to do? Just said she'll cover for me. Oh, all right. Where is she then? She'll be here in a minute. We're not going to leave you high and dry, Diane. Don't worry. Right, um, thank you. Have fun. I don't know why everything has to be such a battle with her. She's doing me head in. They're all the same, mate. I don't even know what they want. They're always on the lookout in case they're missing out on something better. I'm not sure that's exactly what she's doing. She's just angry. And even if they did know, they wouldn't tell you, because that'd be far too straightforward, wouldn't it? Oh, Nicola's usually quite happy to tell me what's on her mind. That's the problem. I wish she'd just shut up. We're better off without her. Which is why we're going into town tonight. And ex-birds and wives or whatever is strictly off the agenda. Come on. Couple of pints, please, Diane. So what time's she getting here, then? I don't know. She's out firefighting the new salon. She should rock up any time soon. You might have been better off tipping her off about the party. Wouldn't that slightly take the edge off the surprise part? <laughs> right, uh, food's in the fridge. I'll whip it out as soon as you say go. And Marlon says to sort him out when you see him. Cheers. Sorry I'm a bit late. I would have got here earlier, but Angel thought she was auditioning for The Exorcist. <laughs> Ruined my silk dress. Would you like a drink? Oh, that's fine. I'll do it. Um, where's Ella? Well, that's the million-dollar question. It's only early. Why have you been round again, have you? Why does everyone always assume that? Well, we're just going off previous form. You know, it can't be that hard to keep her sweet. Well, it's not easy to deal with her 15 moods a minute, mate. <laughs> Keeps you on your toes, though, doesn't it? Talking of which. Hey. Uh, so you made it, then? I thought you were coming to pick me up. Yeah, sorry, I lost track of time. I'm sorry, how long are you thinking of keeping this up? You've hardly said two words to me. Can we not just let it go, write it off as a bad business deal? You know, that's easy for you to say. It wasn't your money you were gambling with, was oh, it? Oh, come on. I'll make it up to you. Look at the deal I'm brokering with Eric. I'll pay you back out of No, no, you stole from me. It wasn't stealing. So what would you call it, then? borrowing for a bit. <sighs> Declan, it's grandad music. Can you do the honours, please? Ah, <sighs> sure. I'll, um, open a bottle of champagne, maybe. Or do we want to take it steady? No, fizz would be good, thanks. Nice to see someone around here knows how to appreciate their partner, Declan. Well, there's nothing like a 20th wedding anniversary to make you feel romantic. It might have been anniversary, except for the small matter of the divorce. Should have one for the divorce date as well, then, shouldn't we? Now, that really is something worth celebrating, <laughs> is it not? Here, here. Thank you. I'll let you know if we need anything else. Madam? You look like you're about to go under the knife. It's just all this. You know, I'm not really used to doing stuff like this. I don't want to make your life any more difficult than it already is. My life's a doddle compared to what some people have to put up with. How's he doing? Aaron. Doesn't say much, but he's obviously in bits. Must be horrible being a bloke. Always having to hide your feelings and act all tough. It's not just us, though, is it? I mean, I don't see people knocking on your door offering support. Yeah, well, maybe that's my own fault. I'm not the easiest of people to get close to. I don't know. I mean, you seem pretty approachable to me. If only I'd met you 20 years ago. That might have been just a little bit weird. But still. Hi, hi. I didn't know you were working here, man. I'm not. Not officially. Just bored out of my mind, so thought I'd make myself useful. <laughs> Very noble of you. Well, if you could tell Diane that. Oh, well, I'll make a point of it. Thank you. No point doing it if it didn't get noticed. Why do we have to use him? Oh, come on. Remember what we said? Nicola talk is strictly off limits. <sighs> aye, aye, boys. Where are we going? Into town, Rodders. The black heifer will do. All right. 
Nicola seen sense about going for sole residency yet? Yeah, I'm just driving you into town, Jimmy. Best if we don't talk about anything controversial, eh? I'll put some music up. She must know we've got equal rights now. It's not like the old days. They don't always favour the mother. What was that about some music? You'll have to talk to her, not me. I've tried. You've heard me. If she won't listen to me, she'll have to talk to my solicitor. So much for the embargo. You must know she's being totally out of order. You're just going to stand there and let her get away with it. You're Angelica's granddad. You should be looking out for her. Oh, come on, Jimmy. You've hardly acted impeccably yourself in the last few months. I was ill. I had an excuse. What, sirs? Mmm, he smells so gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. I might start using his talc. Yeah. You could change from karate high kick, I suppose. Oh! <laughs> don't you listen to evil mummy. No, don't listen to her. Cos her head's gone all funny with all the wibbly-wobbly lady hormones coursing through her veins. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I should kill you on the spot. I'd probably get away with it, too. Plead diminish responsibility. See? Yeah, that, that's what I'm having to deal with. <laughs> yeah, they're a hostile race, I'm telling you, but don't worry, I'll protect you from the others. <laughs> you see that? What? Did he just smile at me? Oh, probably just wind. No, honestly, I think he just smiled at me. You never did, did you? Did you do it again? You give us a big smile. Oh, you got a big smile for <laughs> Mummy and Daddy, have yeah. you? <laughs> Sorry, we were just, uh, you know... I think he might have just done his first smile. I'm sure it wasn't just wind. Hello. Hey. Hi. Hi. Have you seen Aaron? Yeah, came in. Straight upstairs. Everything else been all right? Yeah, yeah, fine. You managed to sort the three of us having a bath. Not together, like, obviously. Why don't you go up and see? We've got things covered down here. You know what? I've got a better plan. Marlon. What are you doing the rest of the evening? Not much. Well, you are now. You're going to look after Leo. But I mean, you just go out together for a couple of drinks. Maybe even go completely mad. Share a packet of crisps. What have you eaten something before I came if I'd known we weren't even having nibbles? Yeah, I thought you liked living up adrenaline anyway. Should I start getting stuff out? <laughs> yeah, I can give you a hand if you like. Look, let's give her ten more minutes. We don't want everybody spreading the guest of honour with volivant pastry shouting, Surprise! Do you want to give her another ring? I've left her a message. If I keep hassling her, she'll think there's something wrong. Well, look, just ring the salon. Maybe there's something wrong with her phone, I don't know. She's probably been hitting the credit cards. It was late night shopping tonight, wasn't it? Twenty years hard labour can do funny things to a woman's mind. Don't judge everyone by your own standards. What is it they say? You get less time for murder. <laughs> What is going on with you two? Oh, don't worry about it. It's nothing. I just need to ring Laurel a minute, check on Angel. Look, if you have to leave, I understand. If Ella can't make it to her own party, I don't expect the guests to hang around. So what's kicked off on Sunshine Mountain, then? Are you just going to be stupid about it? All right. Sorry, I won't take the mic. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing to worry about. It'll blow over. We'll be hiding sharp objects from you both in a minute. Jay, what's she done? <sighs> Look, if you say I told you so, you'd be wearing this. I could lie here all night. What are you going to say when they've asked you where you've been? I've told Mia I'm dealing with a crisis at the salon. Oh, Declan, you won't even notice I'm not there. <sighs> what time is it? Twenty years ago today, we were walking down the aisle as newlyweds, full of hopes and dreams. I think we should get going. Young and naive and hopeful. It'd be funny if it wasn't so tragic. We didn't have two pennies to rub together. We spent our wedding night at his mother's and she hated me. Stupid thing is, it's probably the happiest we've ever been. Well, Ella, we really need to get going. What's there to get back for? Well, what about me and Declan? Stop worrying. No one's going to miss us. I promise. Hi, yeah, it's Mia. Mia Macy? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Um, I'm just trying to get hold of my mum. Is she there? 
Oh, right. No, I just must have got my wires crossed, that's all. All right, thanks. Bye. Did you get hold of her? No, answering machine. They must be busy. Do you know what? This is the last time I try anything spontaneous. No more surprises. You all right? Yeah. Listen, if you're going in there, word of warning. Dad's on full throttle about his allotment. Wait, you talk to him. He's had me cornered half the night. Go on. Get in there. Take it like a man. Yeah. Any news from you, Mum? No, not really. I just spoke to the salon. They haven't seen her all day. Right. She confides in you, doesn't she? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Right, so she'd tell you if something was up. Like what exactly? Like, like I don't know if she was, if she was. Uh... Look, Mia, don't even go looking for trouble like that, okay? What else could it be? Oh, about a million different possibilities. Hey, if this is your imagination working overtime, keep it to yourself. If your dad even suspects, she'll be fine, Mia. You're worrying about nothing. Right, I'll well, stop lurking about in here. You'll get suspicious. <laughs> We'll head back to Emmerdale in half an hour.